Harunamuri, Shuiko, Atarashi Gako, Kacharak Spin, Devaloof, Dim Lim, Unlucky Morpheus, Nemophilia, Deaf Neon, Band Made, A Crowd of Rebellion, Broken by the Scream, Gakriel Terror, Anya the End, Asaki, Namako Puri, OGs like Le Aken Ciel, Durin Gray, Duas Infinity, Sukizo, The Flare, Judy and Mary, Miyavi, Malice Miser, J Rock, and Pop is my soul. In this series, I love Bomb, my favorites. Math Rock. You take a regular rock, and you add another rock, and then you divide this rock here, and you get rock math, right, Professor Steiner? You take your 33 and a third chance, minus my 25% chance, and you got an 8 and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. Math Rock. What is it? This is what it sounds like. <laughs> math Rock is essentially quicker prog rock with different time signatures shuffling abruptly through the song. Rhythm can be complex is the understatement. With roots from King Crimson, where you can really hear the bones of Math Rock in the 1989 album, Wrong, by no means no. More punk inspired here, but the spirit of it really shines through. Other bands include Don Gabriello, though when I first started to hear about them was with the fall of Troy. With Doppelganger being one of my favorite guitar works in any album, it still holds up. This boy here could shred. But technically, I first probably heard it with Schism, the opening measures in this song. Or the number 12, Looks Like You. And then there's Protest the Hero. And modern bands like Polyphia with this angel, Tim Henson. But not always loud either, often soft melodies with Strawberry Girls, or Clever Girl, or prominent guitarist Yvette Young. Chico Nito. In Japan, math rock really took off for bands like the Zazen Boys. Look how cute they go. But often, the genre is instrumental based, with Paranoid Void being a prime example of an all female band of excellence. But my favorite band in this genre, and one of my favorite bands in general, is a band that doesn't know any of the lore I just said. Like, what is math rock? Is that the rock the teacher gives you when you fail math? Like, he hits you with it? It's Trico. They just be playing music, yo. And they have a catalog of absolute consistency and fun. Trico is primarily a core trio, with a recent permanent drummer added. Ikkyu Nakajima, the lead singer and rhythm guitarist, she often places herself on stage left, and you should just wear a boyfriend shirt showing off those long legs of hers. She's this tall and gorgeous and gorgeous and oh so gorgeous woman <laughs> who would stand like this on stage and just melt me like, like. Total meltdown. Her big influence was System of a Down. Heck yeah. And look at her spend the summer of lockdown filming a vlog on how she learned to play Chop Suey. Look at her not know the lyrics. And goes. <laughs> and then actually plays the song. If you could sing and play these complex riffs, that's talent. Lead guitarist Motoko Kita is a fun, 
fun, highly energetic, like so energetic, high speed guitarist, yo, her spastic, fall Troy like riffs shifting into classic J rock while suddenly dropping into the experimental while maintaining a garage like sound, influenced by Shino Ringo, Midori, and choruses inspired by Mass of the Fermenting Dregs. Kita is someone who I can just get the guitar stems and just listen to it, like lay on the floor and you just chill and she's just there in the background just playing the guitar like this, like the girls in high school just chill and playing the guitar. This woman just rocks on stage. She's a wild banshee running around everywhere. It's wonderful. I don't hear nearly enough praise about the guitar work of Motoko Kita. And their bassist with the bassist size of her, Hiromi Sagane. Hero, hero. She was inspired by emo, and I didn't know that, so we listening to their early work and like, I totally hear it. They formed in Kyoto in 2010 inside a cozy cafe after performing in various local bands. They, although they had offers from labels, they decided to form their own record label, Bakuretsu Records, because they are bosses, but also to develop as a band. With only two other employees, these women do it all. For their music, each brought their own song tone to the project, creating a sound that you would think all members were listening to the Fall of Troy, but no, they like hip hop and J rock and other unrelated things. Things, and the result is a song like GNS. Active driving esque, but then EQ comes in with soft Emmy Evans near talented vocals that builds and builds into this soft moment of Kita's guitar. And then. You may- At 99.974 degrees Celsius, the verse is classic Trico. That's what this band excels at complex guitar work, AQ vocals that range from soft to rapid fire with odd time signatures that never seem off putting, then just shifting straight into traditional J rock that would go with any anime like. Sensu started with the band finding new ways to say orange juice and making each other laugh. So they made this banger that's going to instantly demonetize this video because I'm going to play this full part. Go! <laughs> The entire song is a simple tease of one single riff wanting to reach the next level until the chorus hits. Bakuratsu Pani-san isn't just Kita riffing on a single riff, but a showcase of Ikkyu's wild and manic side to her, where she can rapid fire deliver her lyrics like... (laughs) ...while looking like a god. Every single one of their studio albums is worth listening to. Yes, every single one of them. They are one of the more consistent bands I listen to. They amaze me on how they retain a style while adding just a tiny bit more to their game. Whether it's more jazz influences, dialing back on a manicness, or utilizing the three of them on vocals like Summer Night Town. The has many classic, but I am personally fond of and. But three, Black, Ten, Jodaki, and Fudaki, and many live performances you can find on YouTube. Like this one here. Or their many live concerts. Their output is just consistent and constant. Today, AQ has laid off guitar duties, which allows her more of a stage presence and to utilize her vocal melodies like... We now have a permanent drummer that gets their style too, and I respect all drummers of math rock because, I mean, jeez. And this new drummer has solidified their sound into not math rock or any combination of the emo, classic rock, Shino Ringo, System of a Down, burger influences. They're just simply Trico. Like the Pokemon. 
Thank you to all my Patreon sponsors, Jeff, the Up Channel, Geek and Nova's Dad, Anthony, Kopi, Tease, Renee, Ace, Maddox, Justin, Matthew, Noel, John, Terrence, Danwick, Edward, Kev Mullen, Adam, Ray, Glorious, Royals, Party, Marty, Punk, Ricks, Videos, Mina, Shirakawa's, Boobas, Venji, Dr. Enzik, Juggernaut Graphics, Polar Bear, Shut Up, Ingle.Wave, Ash, McGee, Boggle, and Chicken.